Hey there, welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. With a very large carrying capacity, container ships have had a significant impact on world trade. These ships are designed and operated to carry products from different places and connect them to different regions in the world. The products can include electronics, machines, food, furniture, and clothes. Container ships don't just carry 9.4 million containers every month to all corners of the world. They also influence the international political landscape. Modern container ships are bigger because they are more economical. Carrying more containers in one trip will lower the operating cost per container that has to be paid. The first container ship was used in 1956 by the shipping company Malcolm McLean. At first, container ships only had a small size. But over time, their size increased along with the growing market demand. In the 1970s, container ships began to be made with larger sizes of about 10,000 foot equivalent unit or TEU. In the 80s, container ships with sizes up to 15,000 TEU were produced. And in the 90s, container ships with sizes up to 20,000 TEU began to be built. Today, about 90% of non-bulk cargo in the world is carried by containers. As a class, container ships now rival crude oil tankers and bulk carriers as the largest commercial ships at sea. Although the size of these ships is very large, they are usually operated by a small team of about 20 to 35 people. The crew of container ships usually work in several shifts during a 24-hour period, with each shift lasting about four to eight hours a day. The crew's duties on container ships vary depending on their position. There are crew members who are responsible for controlling the ship. Handling cargo, repairing and maintaining equipment on board, and monitoring the condition of the ship and taking necessary actions if there are problems. In general, container ships have some basic facilities such as rooms for crew, dining room, and gym. The rooms on the ship are usually spacious and equipped with some facilities that are needed in daily life. The ship has a dining room and kitchen with standard kitchen equipment that is the same as a complete common kitchen. Food is vital for all crew members to maintain their energy and efficiency during their tasks. In addition, the sports facilities on this container ship aim to provide a place for the crew to exercise and maintain their physical condition while working on the ship. Sports activities can also be a place for the crew to relieve stress and channel positive energy while they stay on the ship for a long period of time. Working away from family on a container ship is certainly not easy for some people. They have to leave their family and close friends for several weeks, or even months, depending on the shipping route. To entertain themselves, the crew might watch movies or TV shows, read books, or play games. With the internet, they can communicate with their family or get the latest information from the world. Despite facing many challenges, the crew's salary is usually quite satisfying especially for those who work on larger and more sophisticated ships. There are some of the largest container ships in the world. One of them is Evergreen Ever A Lot, with a capacity of 240,004 TEU. The ship is 1,312 feet long, 201 feet wide, with a depth of 56 feet. It has a dead weight of 265,657 short tons, with the largest container loading capacity in the world. This giant ship beat the record for the largest container ship in the world from Ever Ace, another Evergreen-owned ship that just arrived at Felixstowe Port in 2022. Everalot is the seventh ship in the Evergreen A class, 
and the first ship in its class and in the world to exceed 24,000 TEU. Once ready to operate, the ship will serve trade routes between Europe and Far East. Before being assigned as a multimodal freight transport, the performance and feasibility of these large ships are usually tested and assessed in a process called sea trials. These tests are done to ensure that the ship can operate safely and efficiently at sea. Sea trials usually include testing various systems and components of the ship, including engines, navigation, and crew facilities. One aspect that is tested in sea trials is the endurance of the ship. This includes testing the stability of the ship in various sea conditions, such as high waves or strong winds. Ship maneuvers are also tested during sea trials. This includes testing the ability of the ship to turn, accelerate, and slow down efficiently. These tests are done to ensure that the ship can maneuver easily at sea and can avoid other objects in the ocean quickly if needed. Before container ships are loaded for freight transport, ships are usually checked for any damage to some important parts through docking procedures. This process is required at ports to find out what kind of goods will be brought onto the ship and what needs to be done before loading containers onto the ship. There is usually a storage plan that must be followed. Storage plan is a plan for placing goods or containers on board. This is an important part of transportation planning because it can affect safety, efficiency, and loading capacity of ships. One way to keep ships balanced during loading and unloading is by stacking containers gradually from left to right or right to left. The loading process involves using trucks to transport cargo to container cranes that then lift containers and cargo onto ships and lock them securely. Next, the workers help to tie the stacks of containers on the ship. This process is called lashing. The main purpose is to prevent containers from moving or falling during the trip at sea. These processes are usually done very quickly to facilitate fast international trade in an economical way. When the ship is at sea, they not only deal with bad weather and high waves, but also other unexpected threats. One of the threats that often faced by civilian ships is pirates. Armed robbery or hijacking at sea is done by pirates by looting ships or hijacking them for ransom. Some specific areas are known as hotspots for modern pirates because of the high traffic of tankers and cargo ships along their coastlines. To deal with these threats, various reliable defense systems for ships have been developed and adopted. One of them is water cannon. This method has been used for a long time to repel pirates who approach the ship. Water cannon shoots a very strong jet of water to sink or drive away small pirate ships. Even if they can still approach the ship, the strong water flow will make it difficult for them to board the ship. The effectiveness of water cannon in fighting pirates is increasing. There are various types of water cannon systems with different capabilities. Besides water cannon, various other defense systems are also used during pirate attacks. Some ships are fitted with long-range acoustic devices that produce high-frequency sounds to make pirates stay away from the ship. Ships are also fenced with barbed wire or razor wire to prevent pirates from climbing onto the ship. Another tool used to fight pirates is flare guns. Flares are shot into the sky to give a distress signal. In addition to hardware defense systems, software also plays an important role in protecting ships from external threats. 
The International Maritime Security Association and some maritime security companies have developed automated risk management solutions or weapon platforms that provide vital maritime intelligence for ships. Besides from pirate threats, ships also have to be ready to face various other challenges, such as sudden weather changes, natural disasters, and potential accidents. Therefore, the application of advanced technology is very essential in the operation of modern container ships. Modern ships are now also equipped with advanced navigation technology, weather sensors, and state-of-the-art communication tools that allow them to get real-time information about the conditions around them. These systems help the captain and crew in making quick and accurate decisions to maintain the safety of the ship and its cargo. Another challenge faced is the change in international regulations regarding greenhouse gas emissions and pollution. Therefore, the shipping industry is now moving towards more environmentally friendly ships with more efficient engine technology and the use of alternative fuels such as LNG. In this era of globalization, container ships play a key role in connectivity and economic growth. Therefore, this industry must continue to adapt and innovate to meet the demands and challenges of the future. That wraps up today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos. Catch you in the next one.